We got some cool stuff to review, and we got a banger that came out of nowhere. So, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for being here, and we are going to get right into it. Hopefully this won't be a million hours long, but I cannot wait to show you guys something that totally, I, I thought the setting spray was going to be the star of the show. Wait and see what I came into. So, my name is Kaya. Welcome everybody here. Welcome everybody chilling and welcome for the replay. My name is Kaya Simon's Life. We do a little bit of everything over here. Tea, news, haul, reacts, drama, makeup, dog stuff. If you hear strange noises... My dogs are wound up, and sorry my nose is red. Goodness, y'all, I just, I just keep like, I don't know, one day it's hot, cold, and my sinuses are off the chain. So welcome, thank you guys so much for joining me, and let's get right into this. We got not a lot to cover, but um, pretty decent amount. So as you can tell by the title, Scott Barnes. Let's talk quickly about Scott Barnes. And I think I told you guys this. So if you want to check out really who Scott Barnes is, is, Scott Barnes Career Achievements Video Mini Biography, it will kind of give you a little sneak peek into who Scott Barnes is. Now, we did do a haul before this way back. We've reviewed some of his palettes. The music box, absolutely stunning. Remember, it opened up and it had like a ballerina and it was like a jewelry music box theme type deal. And we did the mesmerizing. It was like these chromes. Um, I've still got them, but I got them put up in this drawer, but I'll grab, let me see if I can grab one here without tearing up. I'm under construction in here. So um, yes, here we go. So this is the mesmerize. Uh, mesmerizing. Check that out. We did do a video of that if you want to see it more in depth. This is really good toppers, really good smoky eye, but again, I did do a video on that. And this is the box that it came in. I keep trying to, um, no Nashies. I'm going to make, it is an influencer product, the hair oil. So I'm going to dedicate that to a whole new video. Plus when I do things like this, I like to use it for a couple months. Um, I have not tried the lamps, y'all. I have been swamped. I am just trying to knock out some of this holes, revamp in this room, get stuff put away. And um, I probably, honestly, to be honest, I unless you guys really want me to, I probably won't break out the lanterns until I really need them. Um, you guys know this is a small house. Unless you want me to pop them open and we can review them, I will. Um, I did still see them at Kohl's. They are still lurking. They are on clearance. And, uh, Tracy, we're going to move on. Uh, check out the video of this. It's a Scott Barnes. We'll, um, we got another palette to get into, and I don't want to make this. And we've already reviewed this. So, uh, just look at my videos. It's called Scott Barnes, and it's the Mesmerizing Palette. So, um... I keep debating, do I want to throw this box? Yeah, Tracy, I'm sorry. We got a lot to get it. Not a lot, but a, a pretty decent amount. And we did do... Um, his packaging is stunning. Um, I keep debating, do I want to throw this box away? Do I not? I'm like, it's a really good travel container if you're traveling to put it back in safely. But... Um, I keep debating, do I want to throw the box away? I love how um, his attention to detail, check that out. So it goes from like a tiger panther and then to a woman. So again, this is Mesmerize. We did do a video on this and I think some others. Okay, so I give you my honest, keep the, that's what I keep saying. I'm like, uh, hopefully I'm going to, I'm really been organizing, uh, organizing. I showed you guys at Cool. speaking of these packed, I think I'm going to pick up two more tomorrow. And uh, these pack party, they come in all different sizes, lids, no lids, different squares, long ones. Welcome, everybody. So, I've really been kind of organizing. So, I do think I'm going to pick up two more of those tomorrow. Um, okay, so let's get into it. Um, I do not know, Stephanie. I always purchase my things when they're on sale. Before we get into this, I purchase all this with my own money. So, subscribe and join us. Throw me a thumbs up if you like this. Now, what is good? You guys, I might have to put bad trust in her playpen. Um, yikes. Can you hear that? What is good about Scott Barnes is his rewards program. 
You can fill out little surveys. I just did one, and I'm going to explain how I got this for next to nothing with my points. You guys, this I got for $22 off. $22 bucks off. $22 off. That's how much I had in rewards. And then before that, I got these for next to nothing, the travel brush set with my rewards. So I purchased this separate and then this other stuff coming up. If you guys remember, I talked about a while back when Scott Barnes was having a sale. Um, Scott Barnes does have sales. That is when I picked, yes, I love this. I got this for Christmas for myself. I kept looking at it a while back. It's Moschino. I'll have to unravel it in our foodie video, but I don't want to unravel it now. And it's Moschino, and I kept looking at it. And I had some Nordstrom points for buying gifts and stuff, and I was like, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> I like this scarf. It's got little bears and Moschino real big across, but I just kind of threw it on today. I worked on the makeup, and then I was like, uh, let's get to it, not worry about the hair. Okay, I am getting sidetracked. Let me rein it back in. So Scott Barnes has a YouTube channel. Goes in depth with his products. It'll give you... Scott Barnes, again, my mesmerizing video goes into really who he is. Scott Barnes has did music videos, movies, work with uh, stars such as J-Lo, etc. This guy is very humble. He stands by his products. If you are going to, and again, I purchased this with my own money. I did not get anything free. I am not paying to say this. I am just telling you what my honest opinions are, as always. If you're going to invest in makeup, this is the makeup I would invest in. It's not catchy. It's not, you know, ColourPop. No disrespect to ColourPop. There's nothing wrong with ColourPop. I'm saying as far as they, you know, slap a label on something, you know, this is the Farm Palette or this is the Mario, so forth and so forth. This is quality makeup you are paying for. Again, no disrespect to ColourPop. This is somebody that has worked in the industry. He works with his products, and he will work with cheap products, too. He's honest. He would tell you his opinions. He's very, very humble, and that is what I like about Scott Barnes. He, he's very humble. Um, he also, when he um, does his, his makeup videos, he does all-age models. He had a neighbor the other day I was watching, and she was an older lady. I think she was almost 70, and she was, wow, I could not believe this lady looked late 40s, 50s. I was like, wow. So he does appreciate, you know, women of all colors, women of all ages, and I really like that he hones in and realizes that everybody has a different skin tone. You know, I'm in my, you know, 40. I don't have skin as a 20-year-old. So he would give different tips and tricks and things like that, you know, and say, you know, if you're this age, this age, so forth, so forth. So he does make, like I said, a little bit of everything. Like the mesmerizing, I just showed you. It, it's bold. Go check it out. It, it's stunning. It's, it's, they're very smooth. I, I cannot, again, say that if you're going to invest in makeup. Now, is this the cheapest makeup? Absolutely not. But is this is something, it's not going to go out of style. It's not trendy. He's not making it catchy packaging, trying to keep going on and on and slap, you know, this is a collaboration with so-and-so. I'm going to change the packaging. No, that's not what he does. He puts out quality products and he does have sales. And again, I cannot speak more highly of the customer service, the rewards points and so forth. I had a product that I was supposed to get a brush, and they were having a sell, and I had used some of my points. I think I told y'all the story, but long story short, the brush was out of stock. I placed my order, said I was going to get it. Customer service reached out to me and said, we no longer have this brush in stock. What can we give you in place? There was no, you know, we'll give you your points back. They asked me, would I like my points back? They did do that. They asked me, what would I prefer? Um, there was no, you know, well, we don't want to send the brushes out and just that and pay for shipping. There was none of that. There was no rebuttling back and forth. It was, do you want your points back? Would you like something else? I do not like when I get products and either something's broken 
or, you know, anything happens along the way, you got to fight with customer service. His customer service is on point. And that's another thing that I like about this brand. All right, well, let's just get into it and let's rock and roll. So let's go ahead and knock out these brushes right quick. And uh, again, I pretty much got these next to nothing with my rewards points. Uh, a couple months ago, there was like a survey questions you could fill out. And I think it was like $10 in points. Uh, that's how I re-up my points back up for this. Um, he's always running deals, always running sales. So, you know, I, I get it. It's not the cheapest stuff, but it's quality. It's not trendy. You know, it's not slap this on and it's the same palette I made last month and it's for all ages. So, this is the Scott Barnes Travel Brush Set. Now, he does have regular brushes. I do have one that I got at the sale. Unfortunately, the one that I wanted was out of stock. But this may be, I might have somewhere that I'm going possibly in the spring. So, this may be more as, this may, this may be a better option. And um, so here's a little canister. Now, you could take this off and set this on your vanity in your bathroom. You have plenty of room for other brushes. Um, you know, you've got plenty of room in here if you want to, you know, set this out. Um, I like it's got a top for hygienic and travel. Um, so you get the little canister, of course. You're good, chicklets. Um, and you get five brushes. Now, what I like about these brushes is, is they are full size handle. A lot of companies, when you get travel size brushes, they're a short handle. They're a lot to work with when you're used to working with a regular, sorry, these are my brushes that ain't clean. That's why I keep grabbing them and they're covered. Um, when you're working with a brush, I prefer a longer brush. I don't really like small brushes to be honest with you so that's what i appreciate with the scott barnes brushes is they are um you know a full-size brush so it's got his emblem here um scott barnes travel it's got travel powder tells you what now again guys your brushes use for whatever you want if you want to use this for a powder brush, if you want to use this for a highlight, a blush brush, whatever, do with what you will. And even Scott Barnes would tell you, you guys, sometimes he used actual paint brushes. If you didn't know about Scott Barnes, I think I mentioned this back in the Mesmerize video, Scott was a painter. And people always told him, you would be a great makeup artist. And he's like, get out of here. You know, I've got big hands. Scott's very in shape, very, you know, he's, and he said, you know, I was very precise as a painter. People told me, you're very precise, you should do makeup. And he's traveled again with J-Lo, some of the big top names, big top movies. And again, this video is, I think it's 39 seconds. I would play it, but it's got music, so I don't know. But check it out, man. I mean, he's been in vogue. He's, he's, he's out there. He's in the industry. People respect him. I have never in my life heard anyone say anything about... Um, yeah, exactly, Jessica. So, okay, so this is the powder brush. Now, look on his website. It tells all ingredients, always vegan, all that stuff. He's against animal testing, all that, and I love that. So, his brushes are very soft. I mean, they are just soft. You can tell they're quality brush. Now, these are a little lighter because they are a travel brush, but these are good quality. I mean, this is a nice travel brush. Oh, let me just fling it around here. So there's that one. That's your powder brush. And then you've got your... Tra uh, we'll just call angled smudge brush. Now again, you can do whatever you want with these. Bottom to a little bit. That's the angled... And again, they've all got his name. The angled smudge. Um, again, you could use this. It says color wash. If you wanted to use this and have small, um, Scott Barnes is a makeup artist. He is, like I said, J Lo. He's traveled with J Lo. Um, many, many stars, music videos, movies. Um, if you look again, this video is called, sorry, y'all. 
Scott Barnes a career achievements video mini biography and it goes more onto his channel. He'll do, you know, tutorials and tell you about, you know, but he traveled with J-Lo for years and years and years. And she would go and say, I ain't going. I'm not, I'm not doing this movie unless Scott is with me. She is how, you know, J-Lo is known for her glowy, her, you know, everybody wants J-Lo skin, dewy effect. That's where it came from, Scott Barnes. Um, he's made products such as the Body Bling, uh, like a Body Bling lotion, a Body Bling powder. He goes in depth with it on his channel. How to get that, he calls it glowy and showy. I love his name, so. So, again, you could do, you know, if you're like me, you want to do a little contour with this. Again, they're your brushes. Do with what you will. Um, I apologize for the background. They're turn up city. Okay, this is Travel Highlighter. And it's got everything here on the side. If you're confused, again, use whatever. But um, I cannot get over how soft these are. And I do have a full-size brush I'm going to show y'all. And this is the blender. Now, I will say this is the only qualm I have about this. I have pretty small eyes. I like small brushes. Um, I do wish this is the only qualm I have with this, that there was a smaller brush. These are all pretty big. I'll give you a heads up. So, Scott, I know you'll probably never see this, but give us a travel set for us small eyes out there, or just some of us are used to working with smaller brushes. So... Um, that's the only qualm I do have with this. So, for like I said, I barely got this next to nothing. I cannot complain about that. So, five brushes and your little container. Again, great storage. Want to set it on your vanity wherever you do your makeup. Love it. Yes, Engage. And, and that's what I'm saying. That That's my only qualm. Um, I think we could have did with that the color wash. And maybe did um, did without this one and do a small one, I would have done. But again, great brushes, can't complain. Um, everything I have tried out, testimonials, reviewed some of this for you. So if it's missing anything, sanitized, wrappers, everything comes, you know, sanitary, 100% covered. Um, I like to do these reviews and try this stuff. Again, I haven't tried these, of course, but I did try a full-size brush tonight. So let's go ahead and get into that. Another thing that I was saying, let me pull y'all down a tiny, tiny bit. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, y'all. I do like these bags that his stuff comes in. Um, his makeup is Scott Barnes, scottbarnes.com, non-sponsored. Scott, if you hear me, I know you've Talk to me in your comments. Hit your girl up. I know I'm a small channel, but I love your stuff. So, scottbarnes.com is where you can get this stuff. Um, he's on all social medias. Again, YouTube. And I like these bags. If you want to pop this in your suitcase, if you're going to your friend's house a night on the town, you want to pop this in the car for a touch-up along the way, I like these bags. They are reusable, and I like it, to be honest with you. Um, everything comes compact, everything comes wrapped. Again, I've used this stuff to try out for you guys. Get everything out. Okay, let's talk about something. My friends, I think that I have found a product, and I'm again not making any money off of this. This is, I, I'm being honest with you. 100%. I do not know Scott Barnes. I am not affiliated with them. You guys, I have been doing, and I'll show you, I have tons of empties. I started a series that we are going to do. And for the last year, I have saved every mascara empty that I use for our series. What the hell is that? Is that it? Okay, well, I must have been cleaning one day and lost an out. Look up. It's almost the same as what I'm wearing. Okay, let's throw you away. I have saved every empty. Welcome, Timber. 
Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, Timber. I have saved every empty from every brand that I've used. Low class, high class, middle grade, saved them. What we're going to do is we are out to find the best mascara possible. And I think I have found it today. Um, you guys, I am being honest with you. Um, I was literally doing my makeup and I kept saying, damn, damn damn um i have to say i've tried i was stuck on the smash box it's a red one it's in my makeup box um this is incredible this is the best i mean i have went through again high brands ysl middle grade cheap you guys I don't put a lot of money into my lip liners, eyeliner, stuff like that. I use it so much in videos. And, and I'm not one of those that, again, I was stuck on the Smashbox. I saved the container. I'll have to show you all my makeup. It was a red one. And it was by Smashbox. You guys, look at my lashes. That is one coat. And I'm not pulling a Michaela on you from TikTok. I've seen Lashgate. You guys... This is the absolute, if you buy anything, I am a firm believer until tonight. I would say, you know, again, I don't spend a lot of money on lip liner, eyeliner. I have nice ones. Yes. But I use this stuff so often. Nobody's going to say, you know, what, what's your mascara, Kaya? You guys, if you take anything from this video, this is the best mascara I've honestly ever tried. I have had this about a month. Now, of course, I hadn't opened it until tonight. This is the best mat. I mean, look at this. And I have more in my makeup box that I'm using now. Um, here it is. Oh, okay, that's NARS. Okay. I mean, NARS, Fenty, Marc Jacobs, Sephora, YSL. Lancome, Lancome, Too Faced. There's more in my makeup box. This is fantastic. This, guys, let's, we're going to do the foodie stuff separate. I try to keep everything. I know it's, I know it's a lot going on tonight, but I don't want to shift the conversation into foodie stuff when we are on like, no disrespect, y'all, if we're doing, you know, something that pertains to foodie, I ask, we'll get into it after this, but I want to try and keep these two worlds, you know, separate. Okay, let's pop this open. Now, this is the maxed out. Now, he does have one that goes with naturals and falsies. Welcome, everybody. Um, So, if you wear falsies... Then there's another one. I forget what it's called. Um, this is stunning. And again, I've tried more than just what's in that basket. Welcome, everyone. Um, I've used mascara years and years. I've been wearing makeup since I was like 13, 14. Um, of course, I've tried more than just what's in this basket. You guys, this is a banger. I've had this for a month. I wanted to say a year. I'm like... I popped this open, and you would have thought I ordered this yesterday. Now, again, I always tell you guys, don't open products. Don't even want to take a peek at them until you're going to use them. This, this blew my mind back, you guys. I am being 100% honest with you. I am such a cheap ass when it comes to liners, lip liners, mascaras. This is phenomenal. I, I've never... It's not goopy. It's not clumpy. For some reason, sometimes on the corners of my eye, I cannot get them separated. I'll be in the shower. I've got all my makeup off, clean face, clean, you know, palette ready to go. Some reason, guys, this was a walk in the park. So here's the packaging. It's nothing special, but yes. And those of you that do wear fake lashes, like I said, um... He's got ones that go with fake ones, too. You can wear it for your real. And it's really about the wand, and then the product is for falsies as well. You guys, this is phenomenal. It, it, I, I'm honest to God, really, I cannot say enough about this. I really can't. Um, 
The formula is not thin. It's not thick. I mean, let me show you all right quick. This is one coat, honestly. Are you guys okay? Jamie says she's buffering. Maybe refresh. Everybody okay? Look at this. Sorry, y'all. I mean, it just pulls through them. It's, it's fantastic. Sorry if I don't beat myself in the face with the mirror. That's the second coat I've put on, honestly. No lash gate over here. I'm not being paid. This is not a sponsorship. This is fantastic. This is a 10 out of 10 recommend. Like I said, usually I'm one of those people, mascara, mascara, lip liners, lip liner, eyeliners, eyeliner. Um, I've got eyeliners from, you know, Sephora, ColourPop, Glamnet, everywhere. This mascara, if you buy anything, I'm being honest with you. I've never had such an easier mascara to work with. So, this is the Maxed Out. And uh, check out the one again. Maybe I'll get that next time. It's for regular and falsies. I can get my mirror off here. This is, if, if you have trouble... And again, I've had this for a month stash back. Now, again, this room stays pretty cool. You don't want to keep makeup in a hot area or too cold of an area. I thought, you would have thought that when I got this yesterday, that this came with it. I I, my, I literally was doing my makeup like, y'all, usually I'm fidgeting with stuff. I know I keep rambling on about this, but if you are going to spend a couple extra bucks and, and you really want to treat yourself you don't want to deal with clumpy you don't want to deal with the dry mascara this is it this truly is it i mean and again the package is nothing special it's the product it is the product if you've got a wedding coming up a baby shower an event where a family thing you're going to take photos or you just want to look good for you dude spend the money on this i'm being honest i i cannot um I do not know, Cindy. That I should have wrote this all down. I do apologize. And again, guys, always look for cells. Yes, he's got a Voyager. Guys, I'm not going to BS you. This, this makeup is a little pricey, but again, you're paying for quality. These items are going to last you. So, I, I have to say, I think that I will never go back to any other mascara. I really don't think I will. If, if I don't care how broke I am. Um, and let me know if you guys get it, what you think. And again, I want to make this clear. What works for me may not work for you. But I'm telling you, if if I had a choice between saving up a couple extra bucks and, and waiting to get a good mascara, I'd wait. I mean, it's... I literally... I, I was saying my makeup and I was like, damn... You've tried it. It's it's Chantal. It's it's phenomenal. It it I, I you guys. I have been on a search for my friends. Even ask me what kind of mascara I've been rocking. The Smashbox. It's in a red thing. Um, it's twenty eight dollars. Okay, guys, hit that rewards program. If there's surveys out, do them. If if you you know are looking for a Valentine's Day gift for yourself, the hubby, the partner, and you you need a mascara. Hands down, I, I will not buy another mascara. Now, I might try his one with falsies and regular. But, this this is mind-blowing. Uh, it's called Scott Barnes Maxed Out Honey West. And there is one that's for naturals and falsies. So, it's, it's a different formula and a different one. You guys, I always get stuff on the bottom here. Look how clean that is. I didn't take a Q-tip or anything and wipe that. All right, let's move on from that. I I'm telling y'all, I'm blown. I, I was doing my makeup and I get, but it takes a lot to wow me. It really does. I mean, you guys know that it's sold out. I believe it. I believe it. I, I believe it. Okay, y'all, speaking of believe, let's talk about the Snatural Palette number one. Snatural Palette number one. 
Okay, love the packaging. This pulls out. Now, this is Snatural number one. Snatural number one. Snatural number one. Now, what is going to tell you? It's more of a natural palette. Um, nice carton, sturdy. It is cardboard, but it doesn't feel cheapy. Scott Barnes official logo on the back here. Um, I don't know, but as I think, Scott Barnes official website is the only place that I have seen this stuff and would feel comfortable purchasing it. Um, it's got a great mirror. You've got your little thing here. Let's get rid of that, y'all. It's been, I'm like, I'm throwing this away as soon as I do this video. It says, be the most beautiful version of yourself. He's always got little sayings here. He's got nice mirrors. Um, I must have took the protective shirt off this, but he's he's just an all-around, just his vibe is just, he, he's honest, he's humble. I mean, he, he's great. Okay, so Snatural is what it is. It's a natural palette. You've got mattes. You've got shimmers. You've got a little bit of everything in here. And you can say, Wakaya, I'm dark-skinned. This is pigmented. It's going to work for you. I wanted a palette. You could say, Wakaya, you've got a million palettes. I wanted a palette that if it's just a day like today, I'm in a hurry, been cleaning, getting the dog situated, cooked dinner, etc. I can just, boom, grab this. I know it's quality. And I'm not digging around finding 50 different things. So, it's, it's so. It's, the what... Can you not do with this? If you want to do a no makeup look, if you want to do a fancy night out, this has everything. So let's just do a little bit. Um, this boudoir I'm wearing up here in the corner. Okay, I'll tell you what I did. Laced is um, up on the brow line and her corner is laced. It's like a nice golden real light. I did boudoir up in here. I did Vintage, Muted is my base, Muted right here, this natural, and I did Vintage here, just in the crease. I used the setting spray, and I went Hollywood and then Siren. Hollywood's here, Siren is on the outside. So you've got Hollywood, Siren. Setting spray is what it's going to do is you can spray it on your brush over a tissue over a napkin paper towel and it's really just going to intensify the color. If you don't want to use again you could do a concealer base. What this is going to do for you is um we're going to we're going to get in our makeup series and we'll hunker down through all, all this and I'll explain. But setting spray, you can use before or after your makeup or a quick freshen up throughout the day. Um, but a little trick I like to do here, and I'll show you. Again, I'm just grabbing some brushes I need to wash. So I've got my brush over my paper towel or over my towel. Nice. Y'all, this box of tissues has been nothing but trouble. It is like I keep grabbing half tissues. I'm like, so you got your towel here. We've got our towel. So we've got our tissue. Well, hell, I'll just show y'all. Why not? Why not? This brush needs cleaned anyways. So let's go ahead and we'll do Hollywood right here. Sorry, this is really catching the light, this metallic. Um, so we've got Hollywood right here. Now look at Hollywood already by itself. Look at Hollywood already by itself. So we've got Hollywood. Look at that. Boom. That's one swipe, my friends. Look at that. Look at my finger still. So look, there's a look, that's that's two swipes. Okay? So we've got Hollywood already like that now, mind you. So we're gonna take our brush here. I've got, let me pull y'all down here. Got our brush here. Now, this could be any setting spray. This is just what we're reviewing today. This is a new product, and we'll get to it in a second. So, what we're going to do here is give it just a modest shake. Did I just say modest? Just give it a modest shake. Don't want to shake it around. you got to watch for bubbles. Let it settle. Okay? 
We've got our top here. And again, I use flat brushes when I do this. This is just what we grabbed out here. I do, and again, this is not the brush I would do with this. So here we go. Yes, I said modest. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna spray a little in there. We're gonna dab. Our tip of our brush is wet. Don't oversaturate it. You just need a little. You can always spray more. So, we're going to go into our palette here. And this brush might not really work for this. Yes, it's going to. Okay. This is going to take our dry shadow from a wet shadow. Well, this was not the right brush to do this. But this is just going to take, you know, our... Yeah, wrong brush. This is a natural brush. But you get the gist. This is going to give our shadow easier to stay on it's going to give it that shimmer and it's going to almost make it like a gel consistency and it'll give you a little bit long like see how i lined it it'll give you a little welcome quan um synthetic brushes are better to do this with this is a natural head and not the brush to do this but um so you get the gist though it's it's really going to a setting spray is going to give you that nice finished look so that's what you can use setting spray for as well yeah i should have in a perfect world y'all um okay so let's do a couple of the mats and then we're gonna move on to other stuff um let's do this lovely boudoir that i've got up here in the corner for a little bit of depth here Sorry, y'all. I know this is like kind of with the gold. So we've got Boudreaux. It's like a nice mauve effect. Look at that. Down here on the bottom. Look at that. <laughs> Need I say more? Need I say more? I mean, that is one heck of a pigmented mat. And, and look at my finger still. Look at that. So, everything's here. Again, this is natural number one. I'm assuming. I don't know if there's a number two yet. Or I'm assuming he's coming out with more. Uh, all my makeup stays in this particular room. I have boxes that it's in. And I do have a haul coming up of a really cool box. A storage box. That I will show you guys. You got to be careful. Here's the only, I, I have an older house and it's a smaller bathroom. Ladies, gentlemen, you want to be careful with the, the, with the steam and the heat in, in your bathroom, keeping your makeup. Um, if you have a big bathroom, it's going to be no problem. I have a small bathroom that steam is going to heat your products up. And I try to keep, you want to keep your makeup, not cold and freezing, but as cold as possible. Um, same, you know, in, in this room, I, and then in the summer, I want to try and keep everything cool, but I do have a video coming up for a interesting thing that I got last Christmas, believe it or not, as a makeup storage case. So yeah, so this is natural. I think it's a great palette. If you're learning makeup, if you're looking for a pigmented palette, she's the one. Um, look at this. Look at that. And again, if you're not into the shimmery, crazy mat, or look at that. Right here. That is a beautiful topper. What is Batra's got? Look at my finger still. Look at that. I mean, just look at that a little bit. And these are not chunky glitters in this palette. These are more refined. Just And again, you don't need that much. I'm just kind of showing you guys. Um, look at that. So this isn't going to be your ColourPop glitter. You know, this is going to be a little more, more elevated. You know, a more classy glitter, if you will. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... Um, hold on, y'all. I am starting to get a pile up going on of colors. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you. 
Um, this is going to be a more classy, this isn't going to be your chunky, topper, color-esque, slap some glitter in a palette and off you go. And, and I know I keep using ColourPop as an example. No disrespect to ColourPop. Exactly, Jamie. Exactly. You know, this isn't going to be our first palette. Um, me too, Spooky. But this is going to be a more elevated, you could tap, tap, tap a little date night, fancy dinner. Um, you guys get the drift. I mean, look at that. That is pigment, my friends. So, and look, it's it's just wiping away. Yes, a fist of... I can talk fit and curvy. A sophisticated glitter. This isn't, we're going to Coachella. We're going to Hookahville. We're, we're going to a rave, a concert. And don't get me wrong. If I'm going somewhere like that, I would totally, y'all know what it is. I'm still, you know, a, a teenager at heart. I'll wear stuff like this. Welcome, old darling. Welcome, everybody. This is something, again, you're going to a fancy restaurant. You're going to a Smith & Wileski. Y'all, here we go. You're going to a Smith & Walensky. You're going to a Hyde Park Steakhouse. You know, just the light catches it at the table and you get that really cool. Um, so, I highly recommend this. And, uh, like I said, you know, I'm not knocking any of the stuff. You know I got palettes like that, too. This is a little more refined. You know, if you're going to a wedding, wedding reception, you still want that glammed up, but not, hey, look at me. I'm 40, 50, 60, 70 years old. You know, looking like Aunt Karen at the dance party. Looking like Grandma. Remember, her Granny's got a weave. So, that is Snatural Volume 1, and I cannot say enough about it. If you want a nude palette, she's going to be your girl. And here's the unicorn. Yeah, there really aren't Chantal S. There's nothing. Um, that would be awesome. I've got to bust out those roller skates. Um, I kind of... I don't know. Let me, let, let me, uh. I have a really big, let me talk to my family. There's something that I really have been wanting to tell you guys for a long time, but they're not here right this second. And let me talk to them. Um, if you've been with me for a while, I always say I have something to tell you guys that's been in the making for years. And, um, I think it's getting to the point that I think that I want to share it. and But it's not my story to share. So let me talk to my family. Um, and let me talk to them and see if it's okay to tell. No, no, no. I am not pregnant. My tubes are tied. Um, this is something. I, let me talk to my family. But something has been going on and I'm very proud of them. But let me ask them first. They're not here right this second. And I don't want to tell anybody's story. But, um... I'm very impressed, let's say the least. Okay, so Snatural, let's roll along with that. And let's talk about Glowy and Showy. Um, yeah, let me talk to them. I hate to be, I don't want to sound like that person. And I think they would be okay with it. But I better talk to them before I spill the beans. And I hate to, I should have never brought it up. I, I hate to say, I shouldn't have did that to y'all. I apologize. Okay, so boom, another unit curtain that everything comes in. Nice, love it, reusable. You know I'm a reusable kind of gal. And here we go. So, this is glowy and showy. This is what it is. This is glowy and showy. Love the unicorn. You know, I am a sucker for packaging. Anything holographic is, uh, you know, that's my jam. And uh, Glowy and Showy says, Illuminator Palette. Now, this is what I say about Glowy and Showy. I was intimidated at first by Glowy and Showy. So, just a basic, simple, again, packaging ain't fancy. Some of it is. The Mesmerize, the Music Box, some of it is. But, I'm not here for the packaging. I'm here for the makeup. I've been that, did that with Too Faced. We do have a Too Faced product coming up. I have not purchased one in years. I actually got a, all rid of all of mine. I did get one to try for us that's new, and I had good reviews about it, but... 
I'm to the point, I, I, yes, I'm a sucker packaging whore. But at the end of the day, as I've gotten better with makeup, learn the ingredients, what's in it, I'm here for what's in it. So, cute, simple, basic, nice holograph. Got the Scott Barnes logo, everything on the back. And this is called Glowy and Showy, is what she is. Glowy and Showy. I love his little catchphrases. He uses them along the way in his videos, and I think it's great. Okay, Glowy and Showy intimidated me first. I thought, okay, what am I going to do with this? Um, here we go. I'm getting rid of that. It's been driving me nuts. I'm like, when I show them these, um, I'm like, what am I going to do with this? Welcome, everyone. Um, look lit from within Scott Barnes. I love his little catchphrases. He always makes you just feel, um, so this is glowy and showy number one. So I don't know if he's coming out with the number two or is there a number two out, but glowy and showy number one. Um, so nice holographic inside, of course. Now, at first I was intimidated by this. I was like, eh, I'll, I'll never use Golden Glow. I'll never use Bronzerella. I'll, I'll never use Peekaboo. I'll never use Easy Glowing. I really like Sugar Rush. I like Twilight, Candlelit, and Pink Crush. I, what am I going to do with the other ones? Well, I watched one of his videos, and if you guys know the Hourglass Power powders it's got three in the ambience light and um thank you little sam Ciro. she sent me one of the ambience blushes a while back and i use it all the time this is a great thing now in a perfect world i ended up with this brush this is the number 99 or 66 so this is kind of a contour-esque excuse me a contour-esque or a highlight now, I got the big brush. Again, that's how we ended up with travel. It was out of stock. So, we ended up with this guy. Look how cool this looks. Look how in the, uh, it's like a golden. I kept looking down and I was like, something's on my brush. Look how I'm trying to get your light for y'all if I can catch it here. They're like a golden. You guys, this is so soft and just nice filling. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It doesn't feel cheap. So I watched a video of Scott Barnes, and I'm like, what in the heck am I going to do with this, all these wild colors? So I watched Scott one day. So you just want to go over lightly, and I don't want to dig in if you're pale like me, and just kind of just do a one of these type deals. Now again, this isn't the brush for this. I'm just kind of working with what we got for the video. So we just kind of going a little bit of everywhere. And just kind of on the shoulders. Do, do, do. Bring it down. You always want to worry about back here. Back here. You've got a ponytail. You don't want to look. I, well, I kind of do now that I'm in the light. But you don't want to have this line like me working in the dark. But... Just kind of do, 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 do. And he does have products for this. Uh, he does. But if you just like me and have this. So you can take this right here. And you can say. Do, 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 do. I sound like Mortimer Marker. Did anybody know who that is? And just a nice. Don't be afraid to bring it down. It's your brush. You've got clean skin. Bring it down. Bring it down. You don't want to have... Ex bad example, but perfect example to show you guys is... Sorry, y'all. Um, you don't want to end up like me with this line here. That's not what we want. I should have done my makeup in light, but just a nice do-do-do-do-do. So that's what's good about this flat-end brush is what is good with that. So you just a little do, 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 do it. And not too much. And you could do more. You know, say it's the summer. We're a little bit more tan. Just a nice, you got a nice tank top one. Again, a little more. So, I really like this brush. Again, this is the 6'6". 
I'm assuming that's the way the writing, it's either the 6-6 or 9 9 I'm going to say 6-6. Six, six. Um, look at that. It's just so cool. It's got like a, um, it really just fills quality. Um, it's, it's a heck of a brush. Now, I'm a bit glowy. You know, I wouldn't be this glowy if I was going out. But just to show you guys, boom. Just nice little bit. And see how the light just... Yeah. Do you guys know Mortimer Marker? What was that? Um, but see how the light just catches the shoulder a little bit. So that's what's good about this glowy and showy is if you just... And again, you don't have to do that and go everywhere. And again, I'm, I'm pretty glowy and showy right now. Again, I wanted to show you all what this looked like. Um, these are... Excuse my language. These are stunning. Look at that. I mean, that is... Look at that. The light catches it perfect. Uh, Jamie, I don't know. Guys, read up. I don't want to send you on a, on a wild goose chase. I don't want y'all to waste your money. Um, read what's ingredients. Even You can message them and they'll talk to you. On the website is a help section. If you want to email them or they have you know a live chat section. Look at that. And look at my finger still. So that's what's up with the glowy and showy number one. It's 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 got all your bases covered, and you could use these as eye eyeshadows as well. You know, look at this. This pink pinkaboo is stunning. All this, I mean, how you could make a look. These would be great just toppers. That's what I like about this. This is so unique. So we're down here on the bottom here. Look at my finger. I mean, look at that. So, again, just because it's a highlight illuminator, do with what you will. Do with what you will. You know, if, if you don't, you know, say, eh, I don't know, I got it, and now it's, you know, it's, use it for anything you want. If you want to use it for eyeshadow, if you want to use it for whatever, use it for whatever. Again, body makeup. He does make a body makeup, and that's how he got popular. Guys, he tells a story of J-Lo and her glow and how he caught up, came up with his body bling. And he actually was putting products in a blender on set. So he's got a thing called body bling and he's got a powder and he's got a lotion. And he says, I would get a blender and I would mix up. And again, yeah, you could put this in a little bit of lotion or put your lotion on and sprinkle it. Uh, you could do a dust of the settings, setting spray. Can I talk? Do a dust of the setting spray and and put it on, and it's gonna keep you know, it's gonna keep it on. So again, glowy and showy number one. I just wanted to show you all that. Um, man, J Lo is. I'm telling you, that glow within though, you guys. That's that's Scott Barnes is who came up with this. And that's what I like about he'll do tutorials. He'll tell stories along the way. Hey, I used this. You know, I'm just using this for example. I came up with this product in the movie of da 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 da. I came up with this product on the show of da da da. You know the music video da da da. I used this, that, and the other. Um, but he would literally say, you know, I would blend up literally in a blender. So... Check him out if you don't believe me. It's all there. So, Glowy and Showy, number one, Illuminator Palette. Don't be scared of stuff, guys. Explore. Explore. Makeup is whatever you want it to be. Like I said, use this as an eyeshadow topper if you want. Love the packaging again. Scott, if you ever see this, I think these bags are fantastic. I love their resellable. I love your products are nicely. Guys, these were wrapped up too. I just been using, but I really like this, guys. You know, you're on the go, boom, throw your palette, your brush in there, your mascara, whatever, so forth, and off you go. Put it in your backpack, your travel bag. So, this unfortunately is the only brush I have right now by Scott other than the travel set. These brushes sell out like wildfire. Um, this wasn't my first pick. Like I said, I wanted his regular, um, I wanted his regular face, uh, brush first, but again, it sold out, but I can't complain. They made it right for me. So 
I think this is great. I love the attention. Like, I wish you guys, the camera's not picking. Well, there it goes. See how it's got like a gold touch to it. Um, they feel soft. They feel quality. They're good and sturdy. Not too heavy. Okay. Let's move along. Comes with a brush. Now, let me show you something. You don't want to jam your brush up in. I know most y'all know that, but if you don't, don't, don't cram this up in there. Because what's going to happen is your brushes, your bristles are going to be all wonky. So here's our edge here. So what we want to do, I know most of you guys know this, but I'm just going over tips. You know, I had to learn along the way. And I know some of y'all said, Kaya, start from the ground up. It may be silly questions, but so you want to come from the bottom. Because what's going to happen if you go this way? You're going to crush all these beautiful bristles up. So we want to go boop, back, in safely and then when we pull it out we want to come from the bottom boom so you want to pull out from the bottom put in from the top you don't want to crush now again you brushes brushes clean 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 makeup sponges clean if you're putting germs on your face, you're going to break out. So you want to use this a couple times and clean it. So, you know, hence the word. Well, I got a tripod in here. Guys, I got to redo that cucumber video. I'm not going to put up the first version. It was no good. My cucumber salad. So I got a new one of these the other day. My other one, the freaking legs fell off these things and I glued them and they would not stay. So keep your extra brushes separate. These are all dirty brushes, y'all. I've got all kinds of brands, as you can tell here. Yes, yeah, so far, Trace, so good. Um, don't be afraid. Samples come in handy. Look, I could probably clean half the brushes with this, y'all. Um, but, yeah, don't be afraid. You know, say, eh, that's not really... Um, I use a little bit of everything, Hugh. Um, I am more of a brush girl than a beauty blender. I will say that. Guys, ever since the vid, I've really tamed down on the concealer, the foundation. Today, I have no concealer, no foundation as always. So, anyways, you want to keep your brushes separate. And here's another thing. Once these are clean, you want to put these covered. What's going to happen if I leave these out and they're clean? You may say, well, my house is clean. Well, dust particles, if you got cats, if you got pets, if you got birds, dogs, once these are clean, they go back in my drawer, they're covered. So once I clean these, boom, off they'll go. I'm so glad I got this, y'all. I had one, the legs, I these things kept falling off, and I glued them. And finally, I was like, I just am going to buy another one. Um... This is just good, y'all, if I'm on vacation, outside, cooking in the kitchen. I don't have to drag, drag, excuse me, drag big tripods around. Um, this is just like a little trash can. I took the top off. You can pick something up like this, the Dollar Tree, anywhere. This is just, I already had this. And again, a glass works fine, an old vase, anything. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's move. I think we are to the Pierre of Resistance, why we are here. Let's talk about why we are here. Hold on a second. Just um, a makeup wipe. I'll tell you what I do want to try. If any of you guys have let me try or let me know if you've tried it. I want to try the Patrick Star, uh, Patrick Star One Size. It's like a makeup spray. I want to get my hands on that. Welcome, everybody. Um, I, I, I want to get my hands on that. My Sephora has been out, and I'm not placing an order just for that. But Patrick Star has this spray, and it just, boom, comes off. Now, I wouldn't use it all the time, but I think when we do our makeup videos... Now, this was easy to get off. I just used a Bath & Body Works antibacterial wipe. Guys, you guys know if these get dry, any wipes... Put a little alcohol, put a little hand sanitizer, and it'll bring them back to life. Okay, y'all, let's do it to it. Let's talk about the new product. Another cheap thing that I use, old dinner napkins. Old dinner napkins. There, you can tuck them, do your makeup like this. 
another hack that I do use. I buy these. Welcome, everybody. These are what you get at the dentist. These I use. I dab my brushes on them. If I do the setting spray trick with the brushes, this I kept using tissues, paper towels, and I'm like, I'm wasting them. I'm wasting paper towels. I'm wasting tissues. These are what you get at the dentist, the little bib. Now, what's cool about these? You can find these anywhere. Amazon. So, they have a shiny side and they have the good old, we all know this. If you've been to the dentist, you know the old dentist. They put your little bib here and off you go. Now, what's cool about these is I set these down for everything. If I want to tap, tap, tap my brush. If I want to do the setting spray brush trick, boom, I use this to spray over. If I need to wipe off mascara, if I need to wipe my hand, whatever, these are what I use. So, you can set your makeup down, fresh area. These would be good for anything, crafting, painting. That's why I like these. I can set them on my desk do a video with you guys if we're done crumble them up boom they go away i'm not using 50 different paper towels tissues wipes etc so these are just dental hygienist things is what they are so that is what i do so speaking of i'm going to show you so this is the new product that i cashed all my points in for this is the Downright Dewy Setting Spray. Excuse me, Downright Dewy Mist Moisturize Setting Spray. So here is thy package. Very nice, luxurious looking, not corny looking. I get them on Amazon. And they come just in a box and I put them all in a bag over here. And I pull them out every time I do my makeup or if I'm crafting. You could do anything with these, y'all. If you're setting down painting, if you've got kids and you want to pop one of this in front of the kids and they're playing with their Play-Doh, whatever. These, if you're working with anything, that's Nashies, they're drool bibs. So that's what I use these for as my makeup. Or if I'm, say we're going to do those gold digging kits or those uh, diamond kits. I set this down and it just, I'm not using, basically how I came across these is, is I was like, man, I'm using napkins after napkins. I'm using paper towels. And I like that I can set my makeup on this. Like, say we're going to do a video. And I can set... Say, you know, okay, boom, we've got our mascara here. Um, I don't know, Tiny Fairy. It's been a while. They last forever. Um, if I'm doing my makeup and I may be sitting on the bed and I don't want to get my comforter dirty or if I'm sitting at the desk, this just gives me a nice perfect square. Everything's clean. I don't have to worry about my desk getting dirty, my comforter, and I can crumble it up. If I'm doing my mascara and I want to wipe the wand off or my lipstick, whatever I'm working with. And it's got, like I said, a shiny back. There's been times that I've made a big mess, tap in my brush. I've turned it over and used the other side. So, yeah. That's what is good about these. I will never go back to paper towels and tissues ever. It, it just is like the perfect workspace, honestly. Um, okay, $10 for $100 on Amazon. Yeah. Guys, and like I said, if, if you're doing small crafting, you know, whatever you want to do, you know, use them for. They Just like I said, they have a nice... Stuff isn't going to soak through because it's got this... Welcome, everyone. Stuff isn't going to soak through because it's got this shiny and they're pretty sturdy. But see how it's got that plastic on the bottom? Okay, let's talk about the new product and what I think of it and how does it compare to other products. Okay, so here is the box. I apologize, y'all. Sorry this has ran a bit long, but we're talking about tips, things I use, you know, things that can help you guys. And we are going to start our makeup series back up for real, 100%. You see, I've been saving all those mascaras to show you all the wand, what I thought about which. 
Okay, so here's the box. Here's Scott Barnes' logo. And it's got... Spray 12 inches away from your face with your eyes closed. Spray evenly. Apply the downright dewy mist before or after applying makeup. It's got all the ingredients. And so does the website. Now... What we do with setting spray, you do not want to have your nice scarf on. You don't want to have your nice earrings, your nice necklace. You don't want to get. Now, I showed you this. Again, you don't need this. I think this is a great way for setting spray. Now, you don't, again, want to get this on your nice earrings, your nice scarf. It's going to be a bit sticky no matter what setting spray is. So what I usually do is I always have my hair towel on until I'm finished doing my hair. So you've got your bib. If you've got your clean bib, we'll put our bib on. If you don't have your bib or you don't have a paper towel handy, you got your dish towel or your old dinner napkins. Okay, what I always do is is I do my makeup while my hair dries. You guys know I'm not really a hair person. I'm not really... I'm not going to curl my hair and get jazzy with it, you know, when we're just cutting the shit on here. Yes, Ponderous. Okay, so, setting spray, no matter who it is by, it can leave a little bit of residue. So what we're going to do is we are going to, we just got out the shower. Welcome everybody. If I don't get coffee, we've got our hair towel. So what I do is again, we don't want to have our jewelry on. So we want to cover up our jewelry. We want to use our hair towel or our body towel. And we are going to use our setting spray. Now, again, give it a little shake. You don't want to shake the sh out of it because you don't want to create a bunch of bubbles. If you create a bunch of bubbles, you're going to get patchy, and then it's going to dry, and then you're going to have patchy makeup. So you don't want to... I seen her the other day, y'all. I was checking her out. The, the 1950s makeup chick. Yeah, that came across my feed the other day. Okay, so boom. We've kind of gave it a little, you know... Again, we don't want to shake it, create a bunch of bubbles. What's going to happen? It's not going to spray evenly. So we've got our towel on from our shower or whatever we're doing. Again, we want to make sure our earrings are covered. Welcome, everybody. We want to make sure none of our good jewelry, if it was a perfect world, I wouldn't have this scarf on right now. Now, if you have one of these, this is so handy. Boom, it's going to dry fast. It's going to dry quick. So here we go. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. You don't want to spray this by your computer. That's why I'm going to kind of tilt y'all. You want to spray this in an area you don't want sticky residue. That's going to be with any setting spray. Not just Scott's. Not just um, any setting spray. You know, remember back in the 80s, we all used it. Aquanet, you know, everybody's family. I told you my aunt, our family back, the in our bathroom at my family's, the way the door would be, my aunt had so much hairspray on there, it, it pretty much, the, the door was wrecked. So here we go. So, got our thing here. Turn it on and get it ready. I think the little engine that could's about due for some batteries, but we're going to rock them. Okay, close your eyes. What is going to happen too is you don't want anything to crease. Oh, excuse me. You want to make sure this is dry before you open those peepers. And you don't want to do it smiling or talking because what's going to happen, guys, if you're smiling or talking, you don't want to create any lines and have that, that setting spray. And then you've got, you know, lines. So relax your face, close your eyes. Stay away. You don't want to be right up on your face. You don't want to get it too much and go all over. I like a genuous amount. Here we go, y'all. And boom. 
fan needs batteries, but you catch the drift. And it's dry. She dry. She's good. So, what I have to say about this, you guys, is I'm not going to lie to you. I just got this yesterday. You know what? I'm gonna, we're going to talk about that right quick. We are going to discuss that. Um, about That was on my list to discuss about the Morphe and what's popping. Um, it does have a little bit of fragrance to it. I'm not going to lie to you. Is it overpowering? No. Does it dry quickly? This is a fantastic pumper. It's easily, um, you know, here, let's just do, I don't want to mess my computer up. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good, you know, mist. It comes out even. Uh, the point of setting spray stuff is can be many things. It can make your makeup stay on longer. Some of them, it can give you, this is a moisturizing. Some have a dewy effect. Um, some of them have an illumination. This is a moisturizing one. It really just... Uh, if you go back to the beginning, you can use to make your eyeshadow look more pigmented. Um, I am a setting spray connoisseur. Um, this is what I've been using before. The Rihanna, uh, the Fenty Beauty, what it do. Um, you've got this. So I've got this one. A big firm believer, the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. That's also one of my go-to number one favorites. This as well, I know some people aren't a Jacqueline fan, but I have to say this is a banger too. This is the Jacqueline and her mother collection, all set setting spray. This is good, you guys. Um, so it can do a many different things. It's going to make your, you know, it's going to make your makeup last longer. It's some of them again have, you know, um, moisturizing effects. You can use it again if you go back to the beginning of the video, you know, to give your eyeshadow a more pigmented look. So, um, I do like the Rihanna, what it do. I do like it. Um, I don't use any foundation right now. Um, I just don't see the need for it. I don't go anywhere. I'm going to, you know, if I go, you know, somewhere fancy, yes. But I really want to let, I know people say your skin, to me, your skin breathes. Um, I don't want to clog my pores up if I'm just shooting the shit with y'all. If I'm going to just out to have a drink. I don't wear foundation unless I'm really going somewhere jazzy. Welcome everyone. So, again, the Robin and her mom, Jaclyn Hill, the All Set. It's a great spray for the price point. Um, the Rihanna, what it do. It's another banger. Um, I'm using the Scott Barnes. I just got it yesterday. I'll keep you posted. The reason why I got this is I like that it's got moisturizing. That's why I picked it up. And the Anastasia Beverly Hills, that is always a tried and true. That's been good to me. And you get a lot for your bang for your buck. So um, it all depends what you're looking for too. Another thing is everybody's misters are different. You know, you've got this here. You know, where you've got, you know, everybody's mister, misters are going to be different. You know, the Scott Barnes is kind of like a little more like the Jaclyn Hill. So, um, the Jaclyn's a banger for the price point. The Rihanna, the Anastasia, you get a ton with the Anastasia. I've always been a firm believer of it. So, I'm pretty interested to see how this does. I've never seen one, in my opinion, that's got a moisturizing factor, so that is why I did pick this up, and I thought, if I'm going to use my points, I'm going to get it here. Um, I do keep my setting sprays in my mini fridge. Um, some people say, eh, I like the coolness of it. I like they stay fresh, so I keep, I'll show you guys, um, give me one second here. Well, I had it all organized. Um, I keep them in my mini fridge over here. And I keep a lot of my products in the mini fridge. And I'll pull y'all up here. Um, I've got my globes for my eyes. You want to sanitize these, of course, with alcohol. And make sure 
You know, you can always pop these in the freezer only a couple seconds. You don't, they will break. Um, I keep my globes there, my little things over here. And uh, I do keep, it's got a drawer here. And, you know, I've got some stuff down here. I keep my Chanel eye cream in there. I like that it stays cold and I give it, um, I keep my CB Dizzle oil. Anything that this room you have to watch will get warm in the winter. So, um, we'll get warm in the winter. This room will get warm in the summer. So, I'm not saying that, um, no, I keep them in the fridge. Do not keep, um, Oh, no, is the fridge is what? Gal, yeah, wouldn't that be wild? I might have to check that if the fridge is the culprit. Um, no, if you use your globes, you can pop them in the freezer for a little bit, but do not leave them in there. Uh, Cindy, they all have a price point. Um, you can pick them up at TJ Maxx. Guys, the Kylie skin ones, all the fancy ones. Uh, yes, it does have a heater setting. Thank you, you. Guys, if you want your products nice and warm. Now, again, you have to be careful what you put in there. That gets warm. Some products you don't want warm. Um, don't, a, a skin fridge is a skin fridge. Now, this, watch my review on this. I went through two of the Flawless Beauty. The first skin fridge I've, I've reviewed, I would not suggest it. The plug kept falling out the back. And then one day, remember, it was like, yee. I bought the same one. It broke down. This mini fridge here, uh, let me look at the brand. I picked this up from the Walmart. Uh, globes, Cindy, are just... And again, y'all, these globes don't... Globes are globes. They don't have to be anything fancy. I just got these in a box. Um, globes are good for coldness to your eyes. Rub them along your skin. Obviously not with makeup on. And um, puffiness if you're want to roll them along, you know, to get some of the water out of your skin. I have stuff, um, you know, a little bit of cold. Uh, again, yes, thank you, Jamie. If your eyes are swollen, um, you can pop these. Again, don't leave them in the freezer too long. This is uh, Some of them you can put in the freezer. So just research your products, guys. But again, you want to take an alcohol pad and wipe these off. What's going to happen if your skin's dirty? You're going to rub dirt around. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Depuffing everything. So do your research, guys. Same with the mini fridge. I picked that up. Yes, cold spoons. Thank you, gal. Look at y'all coming together. Great for migraines, everything. Or if it's just a freaking hot day and you're just like, hey. Um, but anyways... I would not recommend the Flawless Beauty fridge. I went through two of those. This one, hold on, and I'll tell you all the brand. This is one of the bigger ones. I do like that. I do like that. This one is way bigger. Hold on, y'all. Um, it's got a mirror. I like that. As, as Hugh says, it is a heater and a cold fridge. I like it's got a drawer up here. And I did review this, you guys. I haven't seen a lot. I don't know what I've got stuck in here, why it won't open. But um, now you will get a little bit. I don't care what they are. See that water? I need to clean that up when we get off here. Now, oh, let me just here. You can move these shelves around, as you can see here. If I wanted to take this out and move this up here. Um... I like this. Okay, yeah, look, y'all. I need to wipe it off. You will get a little bit of drainage underneath some of them. You do want to wipe them off and underneath them from time to time. This, guys, is called... Let me knock everything over. Um, also, you want to be careful. The backs can get a little bit dusty, like I just noticed. Hold on, y'all. I'm making a mess. I'm trying to see what this thing is. Okay, well, I cannot read it, and I'm knocking. Um, I did review this, y'all. I think I did. Hold on, y'all. And I'll... This is the Personal Chiller. Personal Chiller Cosmetic Vanity Fridge. Model K7106PK. Distributed by... Kell Electronics, and I purchased this at the Walmart. Be careful. 
this will get dusty. You want to wipe all this down. There's an earring. Um, you want to make sure back here and keep it clean. Another problem with the last one I had was this kept falling out. Here's your cool sediment, your hot sediment. And sometimes again, you want to be careful that if it gets a little condensation water on the bottom that you want to wipe it up. Um, hold on, no, I'm like knocking. Okay. Um, you want to make sure that it sets even as well. But, um, anyways, so there's that. Um, I think I reviewed this. I don't know. I'm pretty sure, but do not, um, I, I do not recommend the first one that I ever reviewed, The Flawless Beauty. What are the globes called? Uh, I do not have links to all this stuff, y'all. Um, gosh darn it, my scarf. Y'all, my hair's coming down, my scarf. Uh, these globes, I don't know what they're called. I'll tell you the brand of these, but again, you don't want to waste a bunch of money. I got these in a uh, Ipsy. Uh, these are called, if I can read here, S-O-N-A-G-E, the new natural. What are these called? Yeah, they're all over Amazon, eBay. I got these in an Ipsy. So, don't spend a million dollars on, some have pretty glitter in and little, but the glitter doesn't make a difference. It's just for looks. Um... Yeah, so, you know, you don't say, well, mine don't have glitter. That that doesn't matter. The glitter's just... Okay, y'all, I just tore up my whole setup, but it's all good. Um, Okay, my scarf's falling down. Yes, okay, thank you. Thank you, Jamie, I appreciate it. Jamie says, Amazon had good prices. They are called facial... Excuse me, facial globes face massage, yeah. And TJ Maxx, y'all, TJ Maxx and Marshall's, and Ross, it's so good to find stuff like that. It really, yo, everything's falling apart all at once. Okay, let's talk Morphe right quick. And speaking of TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Dills. Now, I want to put this out here and very abundant. Well, I tried, y'all. <laughs> I do not like what Morphe is doing to their... Uh, to their employees, I do not appreciate that. I think it is full of BS that Morphe did not know they were closing. Yes, the Globes guys come in all shapes and sizes. Do your research, too, before you just grab some. There's smaller Globes, big Globes, medium, etc. Um, let's talk Morphe right quick. And what is brewing exactly you? So, I'm going to tell you this, and... Um, I do not think that they knew that this was just going to happen. I think that Morphe, and again, we're not here to knock influencers. We're not going to go tit for tat. That that would be a whole other can of worms. We're just talking about what happened with Morphe, none of the influencers. I think that they really dug themselves a hole. And again, these are only my opinions and my chats. Um, I really think when you go to Dylan, you guys, people are people. We've said this before. I don't put anybody on a pedestal, nor should anybody else. That's not the way I roll. Um, I think that um, they really put all their eggs. And then I'm not saying, you know, companies work with people. I I'm not saying that. But people are people, you guys. And, and I'm not knocking anybody's mistakes or really getting into that. I, I want to make that clear. I'm not saying, you know, I don't agree with what James Charles did. Let's be honest. But we're talking about Morphe here. When you go to dealing with influencers, people in general, and, and they have things that happen along the way. Again, we're not going to talk about the people. We're just going to talk about Morphe. Um, when you go to basing your brand around people and things happen, scandals, messed up events, when you base your money on that, I think that's where things... And again, these are only my opinions and my chats. I am not affiliated with Morphe. Do I know exactly what happened? I'm just telling you my opinion. I think that Morphe put all their eggs in one basket when they started working with influencers. I think they got real big quick. I think that when they started busting out stuff, 
it was it was the quality exactly too many collabs as well too many scandals with some of the people they worked with um i think and again these are only my opinions i'm just telling you what i feel as the products i've purchased um when I first started buying Morphe products, they were a lot better. As Harley just said, a lot of collaborations, and you guys even heard me say with the, um, you know, with, with Scott Barnes. Scott Barnes isn't slapping on a pretty picture or putting somebody's name on it and saying, hey, buy this. Um, basically, to me, and again, it was just a lot of repackaging. Um... It was a lot of the same things, and here I'll grab an example right quick. Now, am I going to shit you in a canoe and lie to you? No, I'm not. I've got some Morphe things that I found at TJ Maxx. If you're looking for brushes and you see them, y'all, the other day I found a brush for four bucks there. I snatched it up. I had some stuff to take back from Christmas a couple weeks ago, and um, I'm not going to lie to you. I... Look at me, y'all. <laughs> I swear I try to look cute for y'all. What in the world, y'all? I gotta refix this. Um, I got this at Ulta. What I like about it is I take my Ulta points and I take the coupons. Morphe are good brushes. They are. They are. This is the Morphe Vegan Pro Series v115 detailed setting powder brush i'm not gonna lie to you i had some morphe point or some ulta points i didn't want to spend any money out of pocket and i um the coupons work for these so exactly locale all that's another good thing um am i gonna lie to you now this vegan pro series is better than some of the other brushes in my opinion um, I like that you can use the Ulta. Again, I was trying not to spend any money and cash my points in. And I said, you know what? I don't need any more makeup. I can always use a new brush. I do like this brush. I like the weight. And I like, it's just a nice, um, it's small. I can do blush, a little bit of contour powder. And I like it. Um, so I do like this. Um, now this one here coming up. Um, I picked this one up. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe. Um, I like these. This is the powder brush. Um, nice. That would be awesome, Wyatt. Um, here's the deal. These are good brushes. They're not the best brushes. I'm not going to tell you that. They're not. If you got a Scott Barnes brush and this, there's there's no comparison. I'm talking about for the price. I have not, Irene. That is, that's on this. This bag is what we've got coming up to review. Um, the, the, like I said, it, it's not a Scott Barnes brush. It's not a Sigma. It's nothing like that. If you want some brushes and you say, man, I don't have none, or you're like me that blues through brushes and I don't want to clean them every single day, or you got a TJ Maxx gift card laying around or a Marshalls or something, I like them. I'm not going to set and BS you. Um, so this is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe powder brush. Um, this is the J01. Um, again, it's, it's a good brush. Is it, is it the best brush I've ever had? No, it's not. But to find these at TJ Maxx, I would snatch them up. Um, it's not, you know, it's not the most dense brush. It's not. Um, same as this. I noticed that, actually, I'll probably put this in a giveaway since I just bought this. I noticed when I just opened this drawer and I had got um, a couple... Well, I seen one. Okay, well, I seen a Morphe setting spray that's brand new. I'm not going to lie to you. This is an empty that I've showed you. This Jeffrey Hill, Jeffrey Star and Morphe one, it's empty. Y'all, I'm all over the place. 
Morphe and Jeffree Star. This was the Starberry scent. This was good. What I use this, it kind of had a smell to it, and it was a little bit sticky since it was the Starberry. I used this with the tip with the eyeshadow like I showed you. Um, they have, I just seen one. I don't know which drawer, but their main black one is, is impeccable. Um, there's one that I had, Sweetie, the Sweetie collab, the peach one. Their setting sprays are good. For the price point, and if you see these at TJ Maxx, these are a banger for the price point. Now, like I said, am I saying that Morphe is the, you know, it's it's kind of a, I'm not going to lie to you. I used to rock ColourPop hard. I think their customer service, you guys have seen me do videos, sucks. It sucks. I get stuff broke. I get stuff scratched. I get beat up. And it's nothing but a fight with ColourPop. I think the quality has went to shit in a handbasket. And again, that's only my opinion. If you love ColourPop, fantastic. I think ColourPop has turned into a Morphe. I think they've lost the plot. They've went into packaging. Did a Too Faced. And I think Too Faced is trying to come back from that. I just got some blush we're going to review from Too Faced. I don't give a shit. Yes, I do like nice packaging, but when you lose the plot of the product, that's when shit sucks. Um, I think that ColourPop is just, it's turned powdery. And again, y'all, I'm not knocking anything. Um, if ColourPop works great for you, I'm just speaking for me. I do not like ColourPop service. You want to tell me that, well, I'll give you $275. What the hell, when I spent $80, bucks, is $275 going to buy? I got that whole thing, that eyeliner set. I bought that palette set. They came all broken and beat up. And it's like, <laughs> like I'm going to tear my own stuff up. So, I don't I don't like ColourPop anymore. I think the customer service is terrible. Um. Let me go ahead and grab something while we're talking about Morphe, and then we're going to wrap this up, and I might as well go ahead and show you guys. Oh, my goodness. You've got... No way. Battress, what did you do? <gasps> Battress, you got to be kidding me, Battress. Ma'am, hold on, y'all. Battress. Oh, yo. <laughs> Battress, ma'am. Y'all want to... It's my fault. I should have been... What did you do, Battaloo? Did you tear a hole in the bed, Battress? Ladies and gentlemen... Look, and she's got her other bed all the way over here. Okay, well, let me grab these palettes, and um, I guess I've got a mess to clean before the foodie stream. Battress, that was not very nice. Y'all. I thought they had went, oh my gosh. I thought she had wound. It's my fault, yo. I thought she had wound. <laughs> I thought she, yo, my scarf is. I have to fix. I thought she had wound down once. Um, I didn't hear her running back and forth, but now that makes okay. Well, let me grab these palettes and finish up our conversation. And I guess before the foodie video. Oh, she's still a puppy. Yeah, she's not. I, I'm not mad at her, y'all. It's my fault. I should have. I, I thought she was being quiet, and, uh, yeah, she was being quiet all right. Actress, you made quite the, uh, you, I thought, oh, Actress, you got on a sweeper, ma'am. Well, I guess, y'all, there will be a little intermission. It won't take me nothing to sweep. I'll hit it with the broom and then hit it with my sweeper. You can say to hello to everybody. Let me finish the conversation. Okay, so, yeah, I was like, oh, they're chilling. They're, they're, they're doing good. Okay, let me, um, 
Okay, y'all. So, anyways, what I was saying was, is, uh, yeah, I'm not mad at her. It's my fault. I should have. So, this is the 35T, the Morphe. I showed y'all my grandma got me this one a while back for 16 bucks. Um, I got this one. I took back. You know what? I do not like to take up, take back. Tracy was right. I took back that palette. I did do a review of it. Battress wrecked, um... Uh, she won't eat it. She she always tear. I oh she just tears it up. She does that with her stuffed animals. So I'll get it here in a second. Um, I that Naya palette. I did review it for you guys. I'll put up the video. It's probably going to be more of a dog review than a palette. But before I took you guys, I do not like to waste money. Or excuse me, I do not like to wait. I do not like to waste money or makeup. But I spent a lot of money on Morphe before. I spent a lot of money at TJ Maxx, you guys. That palette, and I'll put the video up, and Batras kind of ruined the video. Um, that palette was horrible. That collab, that Nye or whatever it is. And again, that's no disrespect to the girl, the, the person. You guys, I do not like to waste stuff, but that palette had zero payoff. And I have did my due diligence to Morphe. I've did my due diligence to TJ Maxx. And you guys, I just, I, that's how bad it was. Um, I just couldn't do it. I, I was like, I really hate to, um, so I took it back and I think it was like $16.95 and I added a couple bucks. This one was $19.95. Now, the sweetest tea is much better. Um, yeah, Luke, hello. I hate to waste, but you guys, companies have stuff for things that get broken, stolen, lost. I, I just couldn't do it. I, I, I felt bad, but I was like, I, it was horrible. Um, this sweetest tea, this 35 tea is good. I'm telling you, Ponderous. Batras is, y'all, everybody's like, Batras is sweet and Batras is off the chain y'all um so if you see some of these again you know i hate what morphe did to their employees but um here's this one welcome everyone um this is good this isn't bad now are these the greatest palettes and here's the wild thing exactly that's what i figured too loco i was like somebody's gonna snatch it up dumpster dive and merry christmas um this is good. Um, that's the thing with the Morphe palettes. Some are better than others. It, it blows my mind. There's a really cool green one I seen at TJ Maxx. It was like something greens. It was really nice. I was in between that and this. Um, so here's this one. Welcome, everyone. This is just boom. I can pack this like I think Local said. If this gets broken in my suitcase traveling, it's not one of my Scott Barnes. It's not one of my expensive palettes. And that's really why I got this. Or boom, if I want to go somewhere, a hotel, a night out, go stay with a friend, I can pack this. It, if it gets jumbled up, um, you know, or tore up, I'm not got all my money. Excuse me, ma'am. I see ya. I seen ya. So if you see, again, this 35 sweetest tea, this is good. Um, be careful when you buy these. Look in the store or open it up at the register. Again, do not swatch them. There's palettes that I've bought in there and they've been swatched. So do your due diligence and make sure that nobody swatched it. This was good. For the price point, if you see this for 16 bucks or cheaper, this was good. Um, now here's the weird thing. They're, it's all the same brand. It's, 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 yes, I have any. They are great. Um, some are better than others. I, I don't get it's the same brand and some are better. Um, I think this sweetest tea is better than this one. Now this one's way better than that one I took back. So this is the Mickey and Friends Truth Be Told. Um, now am I glad that, yes, always make sure you guys marshals, TJ Maxx, now don't open it if you're not thinking about buying it. Uh, Ross, things like that, you know, but you don't want to get something somebody swatched and then have to argue with them. Um, exactly, exactly left. 
Left says, if you're buying at TJ Maxx, Morphe already got their money selling a lot. You're technically not supporting them anymore. Absolutely. And like I said, guys, don't be afraid. Um, your money's your money. And you guys, I really don't like to waste things. But that palette, I did a review of it for you guys. I figured I'm taking it back. It's already been swatched. So I missed thing wrecked my review. But so this one's okay. There's a green one out that I should have maybe got instead of this one. I'm just glad I got this instead of the one that I had. Anything has... If you see it's that naive, really pretty girl, that palette was horrible. And no disrespect to the girl. It wasn't like she was making it, but... Um, okay, y'all. I'm going to have to wrap this up. So, kind of bumps up. Really cute packaging. And like Lil Cal Lil said, these are great. Take to a friend's take on vacation. And you don't have to worry about, you know, it, it's one of your expensive. This is a good color story. Um, I got on a new blush that we're going to review. It's the Jane Eardell. It's a brand new blush. And we'll do that next coming up. So this is good. I thought the deal would. These two will complement each other. So... This is pretty decent. Is it the best? Is the 35T better? Absolutely. That's what's weird about Morphe. So, um, if you see this, I would not spend more than $20 or $15 on it. If you can find this at clearance, it's good. If you've got a teenager, a teen, somebody young starting to make up, this would be a great palette for them. Or that Nye palette. That Naya, the collaboration that I took back. That would be good for a teenager or a preteen. But as far as as a adult woman, there was no payoff that I like. It'd be a good for somebody younger. So I thought these two will complement each other pretty good. Um, I like this and I like these two. Really caught my eye here. These are pretty cool looking. We'll swatch them right here. So this is talk flirty and super sassy. So it's weird. So here's... Talk flirty. It's kind of like a duochrome. And here's super sassy. Now, I didn't dig my hands all in these. I really like those two. So that's the thing with Morphe palettes. It's a roll of the dice. You never know what you're going to get. Um, you just never know. So there's a green one running around. I've seen it at my TJ Maxx. It looked pretty good. Um... But like I said, and like Lev said, you know, TJ Maxx has already paid them their money, you know, but, you know, they're good travel palettes. If, if you're starting out makeup, excuse me, you want to give a gift, um, you know, somebody that doesn't have a makeup or, you know, um, you know, these boil down to, I think this one grandma paid 16 for. This is like 35 shades. Um, this one was 1999. Uh, I think this again is 35. So, you know, when you do the math or if you're just learning makeup and you don't want to invest a bunch, but you, you here's the thing. You're not going to get, you, you pay for your money's worth. You're not going to buy a Scott Barnes palette and you're not going to, you pay, you get what you pay for. So, but these are good if you just want to throw in a bag. You know, you know how to handle things if you're checking your bag in, in a plane or if you're riding the bus or a long car ride. But um, it is cute. But is it the best palette I've ever had? No. Is it a step better than ColourPop? I think so. Yes, Angela, I do. Um, I do believe you get what you pay. And either was I, Kelly, but I was like, I cannot be stuck with that palette. <laughs> I was like, that... I don't know what her name is, Nae or Naya. I could, you guys, I was like, I cannot. And again, I don't want you guys to think that I waste anything and I don't. And like, hopefully, like Lil Cal said, hopefully a dumpster diver got it or somebody that needed something. But that's how bad it was, you guys. I mean, it was terrifying. All right, y'all. Well, um, I'm going to go clean up a mess literally right quick. And, you know, all right, I'll deal with that. Um. I'm going to go clean up a mess. Do you guys want to say hi to Miss Thing right quick? Batras. Batras. Matter buggy. 
Um, but just be careful with the Morphe palettes. Some are better than others. Um, I don't understand it, but you would think they all... Some are better than others. It, it's very strange. Matter bogs. Let me push this all up and Matter can say hi. Um, and like I said, if you get anything Scott Barnes, make sure... Join the rewards program. Keep your eyes peeled. Like I said, there was some kind of questionnaire the other day. I think I got like $10 or $5 worth of points. I stack up. Um, you do like subscribe to his socials. You know how it is. Some rewards programs. If you join their social media. Um, if you, you know, follow them on things. Add your birthday and stuff. All that good jazz. But... Great customer service, like I said. Rewards program is fantastic, and I absolutely love it. Um, okay, y'all, let me grab Batras. This can go, this can go. Battaloo. Batty do. What are you doing, Batras? Oh, you're just, it's like raining fuzz out here, isn't it, Bat? Say, it's raining foam. Hallelujah, you tore up their bed. Batris, out of all the beds you could have picked, you picked the best orthopedic one. Yes, ma'am, you did. You picked the best expensive bed out of all of them. Hold on, y'all, I'm getting. You picked the best bed they had. I'm coming, y'all. She, Batris, good night. Bat, I wish you would have picked the other bed, but you picked the favorite bed they had out of all of them. Come here, Miss Thing. Would you like... Oh, my goodness, Petrus, you are something else, ma'am. You're something else, ma'am. You are something else, ma'am. Ooh, let me get that finger now. Showing up, trying to eat that. You little piggy butt. Come here, piggy butt. I'm not. I'm sitting with you. Say, it's raining. Yo, I gotta fix this scarf. Clean up Mattress's mess. Say, it's raining foam. Hallelujah. Okay. You don't bite my face, ma'am. Okay, she is wound tight. Mattress. Mattress! Say hello to the people, Mattress. Say hello, Mattress. I'm oh, sorry, y'all. I'm spitting everywhere. Mattress. Did you make a mess? I think you did, ma'am. I got Simon's hair all over me now. Did you make a mess, Bat? Say, I did make a mess, ma'am. He was ignoring me. Say, I thought you was sleeping. I thought you was sleeping. Say, I was tearing up their good bed. Okay, yes, I see you want your buddies. Hold on. Say, love you. Say, I'm going to go clean up the mess now. She, okay, we're going. She sees Simon and Sugar. Hold on. I know, Lou. She messed up your good bed. She messed up your good one, didn't she, Lou? I know, Lou. All right, y'all. Well, I am going to quickly fix another coffee, fix my scarf, and clean up right quick. I can't be mad at her. She, I was shooting the shit with y'all. I, it is what it is. Yeah. So, speaking of pets, let's get into that next video. Uh, Simon. All right, let me get this all cleaned up. Uh, yes, Fatima, my bad. Um, yeah, I can't be mad at her. Yeah, we're gonna get snacks. Let me get this mess cleaned up. Um, I'll put up a community tab. I, I'm not flaking out on you. I promise I'm really coming back. Let me make a cup of coffee, get the broom, and then I'll hit this with the sweeper because I don't want it to get clogged. I'll get the big pieces first. Let them go potty, and um, I'll be back. Fix my scarf. Hear him. Yeah, I can't be mad at her. It is It is what it is. I was, I was, yeah, 15, I say about 15, so, all right, y'all, with a longer, uh, thank you guys so much for being here, it really, it, it, it's great that we can, y'all, I can't take myself seriously with this like this, um, 
honestly, y'all, thank you guys so much for being interested. I know that some of you guys, uh, you're not into makeup and you're just here for the support. Maybe they'll have their second, uh, wind out, their 15th win. Um, yeah, y'all, check out Nashie's if you're bored right quick. She's been doing great videos, cooking, uh, a Valentine's Day snacky poo, the, the schnitzel, um, yeah, check out No More Nashies. If it kind of like me, she's all over the place. Cooking, uh, clips, foodie clips, great cooking. Really, what I like about Nashie's channel is, is, you know, I've cooked all my life. I'm going to be honest with you. A, I have a small kitchen here. There's no counter space. I don't want to make videos that, or excuse me, I don't want to make dinners that take 50 different things. Nashi's is a lot of comfort food. She makes, you know, ingredients, doesn't she? I, I'm trying, y'all. Um, Nashi's makes good old cooking. You know, we love good high calorie, yummy, cheesy esque comfort food. Uh, the things that Nashi's makes isn't going to take you all day, all night. You know, some of us are struggling to buy groceries. It's not going to take you 3,000 ingredients. It's not going to take you tearing up your kitchen 3,000 hours, and that's what I like. You know, I'm not going to BS you. I've cooked all my life. Um, I don't have a big kitchen here. I don't have a ton of kitchen space, and I just, I don't have it in me. All right, everyone's, hey. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hate to end abruptly like this. Let me take a last swig of my coffee so I can. So, like I said, again with the Morphe stuff, you know, it, it is what it is. I do not like, please know that I do not like what Morphe's doing to their employees. But the stuff's going to sell anyways. And like everybody said, if it's at Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, it's already bought and paid for. And, you know, if you got a couple extra bucks or a TJ Maxx, Marshalls card running around and you want something for you that, you know, you want to travel with, it's not bright, not too pigmented. Or you got a teenager in your life or a preteen or just somebody that, you know, you want to get more bang for your buck. These are decent palettes. I'm not going to lie. The brushes as well. Is it the best? No. Yeah, guys, check out Speaking Up before we go, your local egg farmers. Support them. Now is the time. Farm fresh eggs, your farmer's market, your, your, your local stores. You know, check a local farmer. If you see a sign, don't be afraid to pull in. You know, if you see a sign, fresh eggs for sale. Um, I'd rather have farm fresh eggs than pay a million, gazillion dollars for the, got, you know, all kinds of stuff in. Um. So support your local farmers, honestly, guys. It's it's more healthier. They're probably better quality eggs, anyways. And you're helping a you're helping a family out. You're helping a farmer. So I love you guys. I apologize to end abruptly. Let me get this mess clean up, and I promise you, I will be back. Um, yeah, we're gonna do. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna do like Claudia said. We're gonna get into the series. I'm not BSing. I really do have a, a lighting system. I'm not lying to you about this. Um, we're gonna get back in the swing of things for real. Um, so again, I want to make this clear for me. What may work for me may not work for you. Vice versa. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Yeah, guys, save your egg cartons. If you go to farms, they might cut you a deal if you have your own containers, plus reduce, reuse, recycle. Um, again, you know, what may work for me may not work for you. So read the ingredients of these products. Read the other um, reviews. Look up YouTube reviews, etc. I never want to steer you guys wrong. I'm just telling you what I feel about the products. Again, I purchased all this with my own money. This wasn't sponsored. I'm not out to sell you guys anything or nothing like that. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. What may work for me may not work for you. So I love you guys. Again, this is a 10 out of 10. If I if I recommend anything out of this video, this Scott Barnes maxed out mascara is a banger again there's another version go back to the beginning of that goes with falsies and regulars so i will be back and i love you guys everybody's turning up city hey order the court okay 
Thank you guys so much for joining me. Have a great day, great night. Again, my name is Kaya, hence the word Kaya Simon's like. We do a little bit of everything over here. Tea, news, reacts, drama, hauls, dog stuff, and everything in between. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Have a great day, great night.